Hey everyone, so today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to go ahead and do a starter replacement on the BMW 335. Uh, should be the same for mainly all the cars on the E series, so E92s, E90s, um, even the 328s and stuff like that. Should be the same. So pretty much what you would do is you would take off all those plastic pieces and stuff like that, even this front cowling and what we pretty much want to get to is just have just all that stuff out the way i would show you how to take it off on this car but mostly some of the stuff is missing on here and screws are gone so i'm just going to bring it down to the step where we just have empty space ready to go ahead and get to the starter yeah now we're going to go ahead and disconnect the battery which is over here So we're gonna use is a 10 millimeter socket and take this nut off and just move this negative terminal off. So we have the plastics out the way. So all we gotta do now is just go ahead and uh, take off the intake and the engine cover. And we're gonna start by taking off the intake. So you go ahead and squeeze this to get off the vacuum line. And this is already out, but you might have to like pull this out to get it off. And you just move this off to the side over here rest it like that and use a flathead screwdriver and turn these and make them loose this one right here and this one over here so go ahead and get those taken off like not taken off but like loosen them and then after that you go over here with a same flathead and just pop these off right here So, lift this out the way, check the filter out, and you're going to see some rubber grommets right here. So, this one over here and over there, and pretty much what you're trying to do is just like pull this up and pop them off, just lift up on it, and try to get these out the hole like that. And, here we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take off the engine cover. So generally these are hooked on, I think they are five millimeter uh, bits. So it's only one of these off in here. And the other is one here, one here and one over here. So it's only this one in here. So I already got it loose. And once you got it loose, just like lift it up and it comes right off. So first thing we're gonna do is take the intake manifold off. So what we're gonna do is use a flathead again and get into the C-clip right here and pull up on it. So that loosens it off of the throttle, throttle body right here. And then next, we're gonna go ahead and push the button right here on the oil filter sensor. Push it like, let me see. Push it in like that and just pull back and it comes right off. And just like move this over to the side. And yeah, move this to the side so you get access to this bolt here, uh, that bolt here, that here, 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 and there. So we're gonna go ahead and start taking that off. And also gonna go ahead and loosen this one right here to the sensor, T-map sensor. So what you do is use a flathead right up in here and lift it and pull out, and this will come out. With the sensor out of the way now, we're going to use a 11 on this one and the rest of these are 12s going all the way back. So make sure it's a extended uh, socket for these right here because the um, thread extends out a bit. So if you use a regular socket, it's not going to fit over it. So yeah, except this one. This is just a bolt that goes through. So it doesn't matter what kind of socket it is. Okay, so I have all the bolts taken off, off the intake manifold off, the sensors off, everything's out the way. So the only thing left now to do is, you see this vacuum line right here coming off of the intake manifold? You see a T. Just pull it off of this one and leave a T up here. And then behind it, you're going to see this uh, another hose. Just push down on it, you'll see it, and then pull back towards the car towards the firewall or whatever and it'll come right off this piece right here so once you take that off then over on this side 
underneath here, there's a plug. So what you're gonna go ahead and do, it's pretty much right underneath it here where my finger is. Hope you can see that. Okay, so this is the clip right here that you gotta go ahead and take off right here. So just push down on it and pull back towards that way. And it'll take it right off. And then underneath here, there's a, underneath here, you gotta feel your hand underneath here and it'll be like a black box or whatever. So it's held on on two prongs. So what you gotta do is like hold it and just like yank it like that, that way to slide it off the intake manifold. So once you get that off, then you should be able to pull the intake manifold off. But once you have all these uh, the connections off, you could put pull this out first and then get more leverage to take off the black square box thing. Also, before you take out the intake manifold, uh, there might be a screw right here. This one on this car is missing, so you might have to take it off because you, when you pull in the uh, charge pipe off the throttle body, this piece uh, needs to come off so you can get lee leeway to push down on it to get away from the charge pipe. Okay, so this is a close-up of what the plug is on the back I was telling you about that need to be uh, taken off. So as you can see, it's like right here at the bottom of it. And then that other piece of uh, line right here, this, this is where it came from. So you just pretty much got to squeeze and pull off on it. And that black box thingy, this. So see how it's on these two little prongs thing right here? So what you gotta do is just like forcibly just pull it back this way towards the um, driver's side of the car this way and it'll come right off. So yeah, it's just this, these little grooves that's holding it in. Okay, so now we can finally see the starter. So that's it right here, we have access to it. So what we're gonna have to go ahead and do now is just pretty much take off this um, sensor. This runs from the starter to the CAS. So when you push the start button, it sends a signal here through here to get voltage to trigger the starter to turn over. So you just push down on here, right here, this clip, and pull back. And it comes right off. And then we're gonna go ahead and use, uh, I'm not sure what it is, I'll let you know in a second. Okay, so you take a 14 millimeter and you're gonna take this bolt off right here and just uh, slide this uh, positive terminal off of the starter head right here. So to me, this is the most difficult part of this uh, installation or uh, removal of the starter is right here. The bolts right here, I started taking this one out using the E, what was it, a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet in. Ratchet in is so much more helpful that you don't have to sit here, take it off and turn it. But I use this one here and what you'll notice is the thread, the head part of this bolt is way back here. So you really don't have much room to get, like I use this, this is right, like the right size to fit it. I got this from like Harbor Freight so luckily it fits right. So you can't really put a a socket back here and do it unless if you jack the car up and run like a bunch of extensions and run it from above the transmission in the socket just to get to it so you can either do it that way or use one of these and you put it on here and uh, turn it if it's too tight you can't pull it like that what I'll use is I put this on there and then I use a jack handle and stick it over here Stick it on top of it like that and stick it above back here through here and give me some leverage to turn it more. So it'd be something like this. I stick it in through here and then stick the bar through here and try and get some leverage to turn it. So those are the that's the two methods I know of that's uh, able to get it off pretty quickly and easily. I'm just going to use uh, this method so that I can go ahead and get that bolt off. I don't want to jack the car up. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take those two bolts off and the starter will come right out. So got that bolt out and pretty much just a note, it's just turning to the right. So 
yeah, just turn right, that's the way to loosen it. So, I know it's going to be tight, so sometimes you mess around like, oh, let me go to the left and try to take it off, and it doesn't loosen. But make sure you go to the right, and that's what, how you loosen it. Okay, so the front bolt is taken out now. This one's like a lot shorter, and I think I said earlier the wrong size. It's an E12 that I used to take it off with a swivel socket. So I use a swivel because there's like a, a sensor plug right over here. So just to get over it, so I don't want to disturb it too much. So uh, yeah, and one thing to note is that in this scenario, lefty loosey, righty tidy is appli applicable compared to the other bolt that's on the other side where left doesn't uh, loosen it, it tightens it. And right is what loosens it. So now the starter is unobstructed and you just pull it out like so. And there we go, starter's out. So uh, once you put get starter, new starter, just push it in and then do the reverse and you'll be up and ready again. The brand new starter. So hope I help somebody out with this. And uh, if you have any questions, comments or whatever, just leave them below and uh, I'll see y'all in the next video.